Hey, so in today's video, I'm gonna be walking you through how to transfer your funds from MetaMask to Binance. I'm also gonna be walking that process backwards, showing you how to transfer from Binance to MetaMask. So let's jump right into it. So the first thing we need to do is to go ahead and connect Binance to our MetaMask account because it isn't set up that way by default. So Binance actually put out an entire guide walking you through how to do this, and it's what we're gonna be following in today's video. I do have that in the link in the description if you wanna pull it up yourself. So as you scroll down that guide about halfway down, you're going to see this section called mainnet. And these are the values we're going to need to paste into MetaMask to establish the connection. Now jumping into MetaMask here in that upper right section, we're going to click on that drop down arrow. And this is going to go ahead and populate with all the different networks that our MetaMask account is currently set up to work on. And we're going to go to the very bottom, we're going to click on that custom. Now here we're going to see all these empty fields pop up that we're going to be taking that information from the Binance guide and pasting it in. I'm gonna go one by one here, and I know this may be a little bit slow, so feel free to fast forward or use timestamps if you need to, to go ahead and jump forward. We're gonna grab that smart chain. We're gonna go back into the MetaMask account. We're gonna paste it in there to make sure it populates correctly. Then we're gonna jump back into the Binance guide. Now we need to grab this new RPC URL. We're gonna copy that as well, and then jump back into MetaMask and paste that in. Now the next thing that we need is the chain ID. So again, returning to that Binance guide, we're gonna go ahead and copy that, which is currently 56. And we're gonna jump back into our MetaMask wallet and we're gonna paste in that value. And then we also need to go ahead and enter in the currency symbol, which is optional, but I highly recommend it. So again, jumping back to the Binance guide, that's going to be BNB. So we go ahead and copy that value, jump back into MetaMask and paste that in. And then finally, the last thing here is we're gonna need uh, the, the BSC scan, copy and paste it in as well as the block explorer. We're gonna jump back into the Binance guide, copy that information, jump back into MetaMask and paste it in. Nice and easy. At the very bottom, we're gonna go click on that save button. And by doing that, we have just set up a connection between uh, the Binance chain and our MetaMask wallet. Now, after we go ahead and do that, if you jump back into your MetaMask, you're gonna see it still shows ETH, uh, and Ethereum as the account structure you're set up on. If you click that drop down in the upper right, you can now change it to BNB or Binance Smart Chain. Now from here, as you can see, my account has zero BNB in it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and share with you how to send funds from Binance to MetaMask Wallet. So I have my Binance account pulled up here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna scroll down halfway down the page to find BNB. I'm gonna click those three dots on the side and then I'm gonna click on withdrawal. So I'm gonna withdraw a small amount of BNB to put into my MetaMask Wallet. Now it's gonna go ahead and bring up this prompt asking us to enter in some information regarding our withdrawal request. Now if we go ahead, we jump back into MetaMask at that account one that's shown at the top. If you go ahead and click on that, it'll actually copy your address for you. So we could take that, go back into Binance and paste that in the address bar. Now for BNB in particular, I received this error message saying I was about to send it to the wrong account type. And so I went ahead and updated it to BEP20. And after doing so, it allowed my withdrawal to go through just fine. Now, lastly, you wanna go ahead and choose the amount at the top of the page there and go ahead and finally click on the uh, confirmation at the bottom of the page. Now it is wise to go ahead and send a test amount before you send any transfers, just to make sure it goes through successfully. And you don't wanna be one of those people that lose thousands of dollars by hurrying up and missing that step. So finally click confirm at the very bottom. And after probably about 30 seconds or so, I had that BNB go ahead and show up in my MetaMask wallet. And now it's time to look at the other side of the process. So sending your funds from MetaMask to Binance. We're going to click on that send button in the middle of the screen, and that'll bring up this prompt asking us to enter in an address. So what we want to do here is go ahead and jump back into Binance. We're going to find it, you know, halfway down the screen there, find those three dots. And this time we're going to click on the deposit button. Now it's going to give us a warning message that it's going to require a memo and an address to go ahead and send those funds. We're just going to click I understand for that uh, warning. Now on here, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna change that network to the BEP20 again, not BEP2. And then after I've done that, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna copy that address that you see underneath that QR code. Then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna jump back into MetaMask and I'm gonna paste in that address. 
Now, after I've done that, it's gonna go ahead and give me this prompt, allowing me to choose how much BNB I wanna send, as well as give me the opportunity to change uh, the gas fees I'm willing to pay to have this process sooner rather than later. Now with BNB, it's actually really quick. I haven't had to adjust those gas fees at all, but if you find that your transaction stalls out, that's definitely something to try increasing the gas limits. Now, once we go ahead and we're okay with everything we have entered here, we're gonna go ahead and click that next button at the bottom of the page. And that's gonna bring us to this next site here where it's gonna go ahead and give us a confirmation of everything that we've entered in so far, as well as showing what the estimated gas fees are gonna be. So we go ahead and click confirm, and now we're gonna see this pending transaction in MetaMask showing that BNB being sent to Binance. Now you can have the option here to speed it up. So if you click on that, you can increase those gas fees as I mentioned. Again, for BNB, I haven't had that as an issue, but maybe you will, or if you send another crypto, maybe you may have that as an issue as well. So finally, it'll go ahead and update as sent. And if I jump back into Binance and I go down into BNB and I click on it, we're gonna go ahead and see that there's a pending transaction showing that deposit is incoming from MetaMask. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna click on BNB, and then sure enough, there you are right there, showing that BNB deposit as pending. Now I'm gonna go ahead and share with you a couple extra tips regarding MetaMask. So the first one is, if your tokens aren't showing up in your MetaMask wallet, go ahead and pull up something like Coin Market Cap. And if you go in that search bar and you type in the name of the crypto that you wanna add, though for this instance, I'm gonna choose Polygon Matic here, and you go ahead, you click on that, It'll actually go ahead and populate this page with all of their details and whatnot. But a little bit halfway down the page there in that red rectangle, you'll see that uh, MetaMask wallet button. And if you click it, it'll go ahead and add it to your MetaMask wallet for you. Then if we go ahead, we jump back into our MetaMask wallet. Now we're gonna see the Polygon Matic is a token that's loaded into that MetaMask wallet. So super handy. So another thing you're gonna wanna know too is how to go ahead and change your chain within MetaMask. I know a lot of folks think that their crypto has disappeared once they've set it in, but oftentimes all you need to do, is just go to networks in the upper right and then change it to the correct mainnet. So in this example, I'm gonna go to choose Ethereum and sure enough, my page is gonna repopulate here with all the different Ethereum-esque tokens that I have set up for my MetaMask wallet. So if you do send tokens and they don't show up immediately, try those last two steps and that should go ahead and take care of the problem. Hey, if you could do me a big favor, if any part of this video was helpful, go ahead and hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm for me. And also just a quick blurb about my channel. I post weekly some of the best crypto how-to videos on YouTube. I do several hundred X crypto reviews as well as share you my ups and downs in trading my $50,000 plus crypto portfolio. My name is Ryan, this is the No Autopilot YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.